everyone, Miss Terry here. Alrighty, we have two more books, our last two books for a week. They're short books, so I'm going to do two today. Um, and these ones are pretty simple books. But um, as you know, I have three-year-olds and four-year-olds and five-year-olds in my program. So I like to mix it up and make sure there's a little bit for everyone. So today we're going to do some shorter and easier books. Um, and if you need more of a challenge, then I suggest maybe grown-ups can look around and find um, a little bit more reading to do at home. And you can choose a book from home that's maybe a little bit longer with a, a few more words. So this is for our little guys today. Alrighty, so O is for Ocean. This is by Susan Canizares and Pamela Chenko. The ocean. Can you see the waves and the sand on the beach? The ocean has water and waves. If you stand on the beach, you can see the waves coming in towards you. Hmm. The ocean has plants. Hmm. There's plants that grow at the bottom of the ocean. And animals. Can you see what kind of ocean animal that is? Those look like dolphins. The ocean has rocks. You can find rocks on the beach and you can find rocks out in the ocean, um, under the ocean. Some of them stick up out of the ocean. And sand. There's lots of sand on the beach, at the ocean, and under the water. The ocean has coral. Coral is beautiful, isn't it? Coral looks like almost like rock, but it's actually a living thing. It's alive. And fish. The ocean has shells. Fossils. And sometimes hidden treasure. There's an old fishing boat that sank to the bottom of the ocean and it's been there a long time. We can see it's been there a long time because things are growing on it. <laughs> Alrighty, that's our first book. Our second book is O is for Opposites by Mary Novick and Seibel. Nope, I can't see who the other author is. Seibel Harlan. So let's do some opposites. O is for Opposites. Hot. Let's do it like this. Hot. Cold. So it's she's feeling hot. So she has a cold ice cream. And we have big, big elephant. And the opposite of big is small. There's a small mouse. Small, big. All righty, now we've got a chef up. The pancake is going up. And now it's coming down. Where is it? It's on his hat. And oh, look, the girl is painting. Her hands are dirty. What's the opposite of dirty? <gasps> Clean. She put them in the water 
and now they're clean. Clean and dirty, those are opposites. Here we have a boy. Oh, he looks sad. The opposite of sad is happy. Oh, what does he have? He has a puppy. The puppy made him feel happy. Sad and happy. Those are opposites. Now we're going to do closed open. Closed open. Those are opposites. Look, there's treasure inside. Oh, he's holding something that's heavy. Heavy, light. The balloons are light and the barbells are heavy. Heavy, light. Heavy, light. Those are opposites. And we have, oh, the truck is going over the bridge. And the boat is going under. Over, under. Those are opposites. And here is the front of the pig. And here's the back. Front, back. Front, back. Those are opposites. Long, her hair is long. And her hair short. Long, short. Long, short. Oh, here it's night and here it's day. Night, day. Night, day. Those are opposites. Here the rabbit is above and here, oh, these rabbits are below. Above, below, above, below. Here the boy is awake and here he is asleep. Awake, asleep, awake, asleep. Fast, this girl's going fast on her bike and the snail's going slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. Those are opposites. And we did all of the opposites. Thanks for joining me for O is for ocean and O is for opposites. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you another time. Bye now.